morning, guys. We're going to be continuing Diablo today. Normally, I would be streaming Deus Ex Human Revolution today. But after doing some research on the Darkening of Tristram event for Diablo 3, which is something that I really wanted to be able to stream this week, um, basically what's happened is uh, for January 1st through January 3rd, they're doing a precursor event in which... Uh, you can find these temporal cultists and temporal priests in adventure mode in different areas. And defeating them has a chance that they'll drop these cultist pages. There's seven different pages. Collecting all seven gets you an achievement for the event, uh, which in turn unlocks a special uh, character portrait. Um, now I already did that event, or the precursor event. I didn't do it on stream. The reason I didn't is because, well, one, it's just the, the cultists weren't anything unique in terms of gameplay. They were just basically reskin dark cultists. So there's nothing unique there. And the flavor text <coughs> that describes what each page actually says, reveals spoilers um, about Diablo 3. And considering I planned on streaming Diablo 3 in the future, after I've been Diablo 1 and beaten Diablo 2, I decided not to stream that. Um, however, with that said, portal that opens up that takes you to the dungeon for the Darkening of Tristram event. Mind you, this is the bulk of the event. This is the main meat and potatoes and gravy of the event. That opens on the 4th. Now, the whole point of this portal is you are being taken back in time to the events of Diablo 1, and you're going to the original dungeon, all 16 levels of it. <coughs> so, after doing all that research and after thinking about it, I've decided I'm going to exclusively stream Diablo this week, because I want to try and complete as much of Diablo 1 as possible before I jump into the Darkening of Tristram event. That way I can experience as much of this game as possible before taking a look at how they went about trying to represent it in the Darkening of Tristram event for Diablo 3. So, that's the game plan. We'll see how it all works out. Um, <clears throat> Alright, I am stocked up on potions. Oh, what can I do for you? All my equipment's been repaired. Okay. Um. Holy shit. That armor is actually really good. Compared to what I currently have. <clears throat> Um, class 15. Even that shield is slightly better than what I have, I think. Um, yeah, oh my god. He's actually selling equipment that's better than what I have now. We're going to take advantage of this. We're going to buy... Wait. 33,000 gold? Oh my god. I don't think I have... Well... Hold on. Um... 
All right, we beat the butcher last time. I forgot about that. We can probably just go ahead and sell that, frankly. Um, We're going to go ahead and sell that as well, because if we can afford to get that shield, then we'll be in a pretty good position. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll start off by selling that staff. My goal is to at least get down to level 10 today, and actually find the waypoint for level 10. I and also, in search of answers. I would also like to be able to finally go back and take on King Leork. I can't cast that here. I didn't want to cast that. I'd like to go back and try to take on King Leork, who, after going mad, was <clears throat> ultimately killed by his own soldiers because they came home from a pointless war that he sent them on in the first place in his insanity and paranoia. They came home to find everyone scared because Leoric had been torturing and murdering townspeople. So they ended up killing him and he cursed them all and himself came back as the Skeleton King. And he's on floor three I tried to take him on once before, but it didn't really work out too well. So maybe I'll have better luck this time. Wow, what can I do for you? Wow, that didn't sell for shit. Alright, um <clears throat> That costs five thousand. That costs five thousand. Right. So I'm probably not gonna be able to afford the armor right now. Um, but I can at least afford the shield and the belt. And yeah, that didn't affect my potions in any way, so that's good. Wow, what can I do for you? Hopefully he's still selling that armor later, that way we can come back and get it before it's gone. Um, yeah. Go down to level 8. <clears throat> but yeah, I want to try to finish as much of this game as possible this week before I do the Darkening of Tristram event. If I can beat the game altogether, that would be better, I think, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Damn it. Okay, so, red shot. Right. 
magic saber. Three to eight damage, plus five to vitality. Yeah, no. <clears throat> hey, can you not? Oh my god. I just had to chug a ton of potions. Not really a good start. Try to go explore this way again. to go around the corner and pull aggro on all of them. Okay. We're gonna go back to Tristram. I'm gonna have to resupply. Ridiculous. I don't even have enough full healing potions in my stash to make up everything I had to use in that counter. 
right? for you. What ails you, my friend? Magically transports player to nearest entrance within spell range. Release is a spirit. Helmet, I can't actually do. Whatever.
Oh, right, yeah, I forgot Valiant Strike temporarily increases my armor class as well, which makes it super helpful for me. This guy again? He isn't gonna say anything this time? Well, whatever. I fought him last time. I'm not gonna deal with that shit again. I can't carry any more. Of course you can. Oh, well that sucks. Don't know why I picked up a normal club, or short sword, or axe, or cape. Bet you you can pick that robe up now. Yeah. I thought. Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me.
Uh... Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Club of the Dark. Grand Armor of Zest. Eh. Well, what can I do for you? Oh, uh, he's not selling the armor anymore. Damn it. The figures. Sends a soul in search of answers. I can't get there from here. for you.
I sense a soul in search of answers. Already that's much better. Better armor class, 12 hit points added to my pool. Most importantly, I'm not gimped in terms of how much mana I have to work with, so I could just spam my Valiant Strike that much more. Immediate results. Yeah, unless this thing has some. Yeah, no, that's shit. And now I'm just mad. Use that anger. Strike down my enemies. to the mortal realm in search of the three brothers. These demons were followed to the mortal plane by angels who hunted them throughout the vast cities of the east. The angels allied themselves with a secretive order of mortal magi named the Herodrim, who quickly became adept at hunting demons. They also made many dark enemies in the underworlds. See, again, this perpetuates the notion that the whole period after the Dark Exile was what was known as the Sin War, and in the modern canon, that's just not true. It also mentions how many demons came in search of the three, and angels followed them and allied themselves, and blah blah blah, and that's not entirely how I remember it. I'm opening up the Book of Cain right now. Um... He 
Yeah, so the Book of Cain doesn't mention any demons following the three prime evils to the mortal realm of Sanctuary. Um, and as far as angels go, there's only one angel in particular, the Archangel Tyriel, who's supposed to be the uh, Archangel of Justice. Um, also, as I am no expert on the inner workings of the High Heavens either, I can only imagine what it must have been like for Tyriel to discover that the prime evils had been banished to the unsuspecting world of men. By the time Tyriel learned the truth, the Primes had already been wreaking havoc on Sanctuary for decades. Subtly, they had been turning brother against brother and nation against nation, inciting wars and unrest amongst the lands of Kejistan. Knowing that the Sin War had resulted in the sparing of humankind by a margin of one vote, Tyriel did not dare inform the Angiris Council that the powers of Hell now threatened to corrupt humanity once again. He knew that somehow he had to intervene without alerting his angelic brethren and prevent the prime evils from influencing mortal men. On behalf of humankind, the Archangel of Justice would become the Maverick of Heaven. Um, the Haradrim were a band of mages drawn from the remnants of the scattered mage clans and empowered by the Archangel Tyriel to hunt down that contained the three prime evils. By the accounts of both my ancestor Jared Kane and his colleague Nor Tiraj, the original Haradrim were strangers selected not due to any particular wisdom or reverence, but because they were those most likely to succeed in carrying out Tyriel's mission. Um, yeah, so modern canon for the Diablo lore says that no de demons followed the three prime evils to Sanctuary, and there was only one angel that went to Sanctuary at all, and it was Tyriel. And secrecy was paramount as far as he was concerned. He couldn't afford to let uh, the other members of the Angiris Council learn about what was going on. And he had to arm humanity to be able to deal with the problem on their own without his involvement. Without his direct involvement, I should say. Um, yeah. Oh. hits and it kept getting knocked back but it wasn't taking damage. Oh, shit. 
Well, I'm glad I was standing on this side of the chest and not the other side. That would have sucked. Uh, yeah, we'll go look over here. Having all that extra mana is definitely helping me. Really glad I decided to get rid of that fucking cap once and for all. <coughs> uh, let's adjust things here. Might as well use those. Have any way to identify that? Yeah. This offers three better armor class, but this thing also adds to my resist fire and it reduces damage taken from enemies by two, so. Um.
another amulet. Okay. We're definitely doing better now. That cap was really holding me back, I think. Yeah, those guys are so much easier to deal with now. Uh, pop that in my inventory. Alright, let's pop all these things open. Uh, the stairs down to level 9. That's good. Another amulet? Oh my god. What does my current amulet do? Plus 5 to magic. Resist lightning, plus 20%. Plus 20% light radius. Minus 1 damage taken from enemies. It's a pretty hard amulet to beat. I'll be amazed if any of these three amulets are even slightly better. up here, which is actually perfect right now. Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna try to explore more of this floor before I move down to level 9. I'll probably try to get to the level 10 waypoint before I go back to fight Lior. Uh, yeah, no. I want to explore all the open areas first. Uh, some stuff up here I haven't checked out yet. Wow, that missed me. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Just a bit surprised. I think I've got more stuff over here I haven't explored yet. Hard leather armor that's magic. That's gonna be important to check out. Valiant Strike definitely works for me. That's all the open areas that I can access without opening doors. Yeah. According to my map, it is. Well, shit. Start exploring some of these rooms and whatnot. Nope. 
Oh, hello. Okay. <clears throat> All right, the wizard guy is in that room. Uh, yeah, we'll check this room out next. This appears to be just that, an actual room. I can't get there from here. And even the partial potions are just giving me all my mana back. Of course, I mean, I don't really have that much mana in the first place, but... Definitely getting the job done for me. Uh... Well, that was probably a waste. Oh, well, whatever. I'll be going back to town soon enough anyway. My inventory is... Hold on. Why do I... Yeah. Um... So, there's only two more doors I haven't checked out yet. Either one of them could lead to an actual passage instead of a room. I'm gonna have to proceed. I can't get there caution. from here. I think this is probably just a room. That was just bottleneck, these guys. This was just a room. Does lead to something more? But I think that's just a room as well. I did not mean to open the door, thank you. Ah, crap. I've already got almost enough XP to hit level 18. Alright, so this door over here probably leads to a passage then. So we've only found the stairs going down. We haven't found the stairs going up yet, so... Oh my god! Oh, speak of the devil. That's twice now. Um, this is an actual room. It's not a passage. Okay. So yeah, we explored the whole floor then. Oh, sweet. That was, uh... Once I finally switched out that cap, that was easier than I anticipated. Yeah, definitely, at this point... Mana does actually matter for me, so having access to 
the full mana pool that I should be having access to seems super critical to my success. Uh, oh wow, look at that. The stairs were really only one room apart from each other. Okay. Well, um, yeah. So we'll head back to town, take care of my inventory. I'll probably go on my break. Then when I come back, we'll be going down to level nine. Wow, what or can wait, I do oh, for you? Nothing, yeah. I need to identify Hello, stuff my first. Friend. Stay a while and okay, listen. So, uh, let's identify fine armor. Then we've got three amulets. Brass amulet, amulet of protection, and spider's amulet of dexterity. So, brass amulet, chance to hit minus 1%. So, crap. Amulet of protection, minus 2 damage taken from enemies. Which is slightly better than my minus 1, but mine also adds 5 to magic, adds 20% and to resist lightning adds 20% to my light radius, so no. Uh, mana plus 11, plus 1 to dexterity. Nice, but not nearly as nice. Uh, and then fine armor, armor class 16. That's literally its only magic quality, is it has enhanced armor, so not an upgrade. It would be a downgrade by far. Oh, what can I do for you? So... Unfortunate, but, you know, not entirely unexpected. I didn't anticipate any of this stuff to really be... ...better. Upgrades are few and far between lately. Um... Hold on. Uh, some stuff around here. Um, yeah. Let's repair my equipment. Wait a minute, hold on. What's he selling? Just out of curiosity, I don't expect any of it to be better. actually not bad to offer doesn't reduce damage but it has 10 more armor class so uh, I don't think I'll end up getting it you, my friend. Well, maybe not answers, but I definitely got a ton of stuff to sell you. Book of Healing, Frost Shard. You know, at this point, it couldn't hurt to have those. I was able to restock that. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna go on my break. 
when I come back, we will be 